look at OPEF closure today. This is an E standard tuning and uh, yeah, so acoustic guitar. And uh, yeah, here we go. So we're gonna open with this verse riff, we're gonna have first part uh, and right off the bat let me tell you treat my tabs as a kind of a guide uh, rather than trying to hit every single note correctly here uh, according to the tab so uh, you no know, just make sure you got the right shapes under your fingers basically and uh, kind of the right rhythm for the strumming of the uh, with your right hand so uh, basically we're gonna have this uh, D chord and playing around with this a bit uh, he's adding this sharp fourth to this D chord so it makes the sound kind of uh, like a Lydian mode kind of right um, so that's the opening so basically if we play uh, if I play it a little slower again First line, right, and then second line. Okay, so it's kind of like that, and uh, yeah, that's the first part basically, and uh, that's it. Uh, and uh, I also wrote some accentuation notes above the tab, as you can see, that's in beat uh, one, uh, two, and beat, and beat four. And that's for the first couple of bars, and then yeah, you can basically look at the marks above the tab for the remaining uh, bars. Um, and yes, that's the first part of the verse. Then here on slide two, it's, the, it's kind of the same thing, but in the second bar, when you have that part there at the end, uh, in the first slide we played open E right at the end, right? So we went like open E, but now we, we are not going to go open E, we're going to go 2nd fret on the E string, so like there. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as before, so that's kind of, unless you really want to get uh, into small details with different strumming patterns and everything, but I don't think you will need to. Um, okay, so That, right and then the second line okay and uh, so that's the first part and then you're gonna repeat everything from slide one up to here uh, but the last the bar will be different so instead of ending number one in the second bar in the second line we're gonna end with bar number two So we're gonna have this, uh, instead of open G and B there at the end that we had in the first ending, we're gonna end on that little line on the A string. Uh, and now I'm playing something from the next slide also, but uh, basically open A, going to second fret. And on the next slide here, we're gonna land on the first fret on A. Okay, so at the end, have this so like all together it's really like it's gonna be something like that right if you connect uh, that everything together okay so here So here, yeah, you're gonna have something different, right? Um, <laughs> uh, quite different than before. So I'm gonna start with this line on the A string, open A, second fret, first fret. Then you have this 
appreciated scene followed by a little slide up to 6th fret on A with your ring finger and then you basically can play this shape so hold 5th fret on um, D and 7th fret on high E and keep the G and B strings open and rings and you're basically gonna go uh, appreciate from bottom to top okay so the whole thing so far like that. Uh, the 7th fret on E, sometimes I can hear them play them together with the open B, sometimes without, so it's kind of flexible I guess. Um, you can just go without like this maybe. And, and there's like a certain rhythm to this uh, shape, it's like ten ta 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 okay? Ten, 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 ten. And then it's followed, so it's like a dotted swing rhythm feel to that. Okay, so dun, da, dun, da, dun. and then you have quick up and down on open A and D at the end of the bar, um, and then second bar is a bit different. We're gonna have something like that. It's also hard to hear exactly what they're doing, but. Um, you're gonna start with power chord on the second fret on A, and again with this dotted swing rhythm feel, you're gonna do up and down stroke with, dun, dun, okay, dun, dun. and then <laughs> move your finger, index finger down one fret to first fret on A, and do the same thing with your right hand. Okay, so it's like dun ta dun ta, the final chord in the second beat. So. Like that, right? Make sure to mute the strings uh, with the undersides of your fingers, uh, wherever your step crosses in the tab. Okay, so that's the first two beats. Third beat, I think, is something like this. And yeah, it's hard to hear, but it's, it's doing something like that. Okay, so. Starting with the shape from the preceding beat, second on E and fourth on D, down, and then switch the bass note to first fret on A again, so going back to that old bass note, and mute the E string. I need to do the tip of my uh, index finger here, and play that shape three times, so up, down, up, okay, so that's right after the downstroke from the previous shape. You could try to play with maybe more uh, along the bass strings to make it sound maybe more like they play, I think. Um, okay. And the final beat is open A and then it's followed by uh, uh, open E, followed by open A, second fret, A, and then back uh, to the first fret and repeat the whole thing three times. Uh, yeah, three times in total. Uh, so that's the first line. Second line is the same as before uh, for the first bar. So, yeah. But the second uh, bar is a bit different. You're gonna start with uh, A minor shape, followed by like A minor sus, I guess. Three times on that, and it's followed by C major. Then, like a very short. Upstroke on open A and D. Then you have this. So something like that, right? Again, down strokes first twice on this A minor. It's time da it's that swing feel again, right? And then you have up down up on this sus chord. Where you put your pinky on the third fret on B, right? And then you're gonna end ready for downstroke on the C chord. And then a short upstroke on open A and D. 
And then you have this octave shape stuff with open strings. So, so tan ta tan, like this, right? Tan ta tan. So, kind of like that. Okay, again the whole bar. Okay, so it's something along those lines, uh, from what I can make out of the what I can hear. Then we come to the interlude part. So here, I think this is actually much easier to play on electric guitar, which is what they do actually, but I'm gonna stick with my acoustic, see what happens. Um, so I'm gonna have this riff. The riff you're gonna play it actually 16 times i'm not gonna do that but if you take it a bit slower you're gonna have in the beginning so there's a little slide here into seventh fret on a right after the in the middle of the second bar there and there's open e and then you say hammer on from six to seven on a at the end of the second bar. Okay, so it's this. Third bar. Uh, so, a bit slower maybe. So at the end of the third bar, it's, uh, you hit the sixth fret, but right after you hit it, you slide down to the third fret on the D string, right? So it's and the uh, fourth bar, well, I'm not sure if it's not hammer on or slide from the second to third fret, but yeah, I guess you can do either. And then the final couple of beats, uh, you have this. So, hammer on from open E to sixth fret on E. And then 4 on A, open D, and then go back on the A and E strings, so... So we have this figure, right? It's a kind of a cool riff, uh, I guess. Um, uh, so yeah, 16 times on that and they doing some crazy other stuff with other instruments over that part. And then finally we come to the bridge part. Which uh, where it gets a bit quieter. And we have this little thing, right? So a bit slower. First part is uh, maybe kind of straightforward, I guess. Uh, okay, so that's the first three bars. Uh, let's wait with the final bar. Um, and I don't know if I have to explain too much. Uh, I think, by the way, if the third bar. It's a bit of a different rhythm, at least from what I can hear. A different rhythm, strumming pattern than in the first uh, two bars. Uh, so in the first two bars we have this tan ta ta tan tan ta ta tan tan ta ta tan ta ta tan tan ta 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 tan ta ta kind of like that, right? But in the third bar, and you can, I think you can be kind of flexible with that as well because it's you know strumming. Uh, but in the third bar, I think you can hear more of this swinging rhythm, like tan ta tan ta tan ta tan ta tan ta ta. Like tan ta tan ta tan ta tan ta tan. That's what I hear, I think, anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you can be flexible on that, I think. Uh, then the fourth bar, we have 
like this. So open E, uh, open E, sorry. And then hit open B together with the second fret on high E. And you have this quick hammer on, pull off on that. So uh, yeah, hammer on, pull off from second fret to third to second. And then you have uh, open E, open B, open E, and then hit fourth on B and bend it half a step. And then you hit open E, B, and G right after that. So. Again. Okay, and the final beat. Uh, we have this um, sliding octave shape again, well, as they often do, together with open E. So basically hit uh, open E, then this F octave shape, slide down one fret, okay, and then hit it with two more strongs. So kind of like that. Right, and you play bridge. Uh, lines four times and then finally for the outro riff and there's basically a lot of strumming here so that's the line so basically a lot of open strings and uh, moving octave shapes okay so so you can start with the e octave shape here and try to strum it together with all the other open strings. You're gonna mute the D string with the underside of your index finger here. Uh, but basically, we have this little rhythm in the first bar. Okay. And that's the second bar. And I guess you can read the tab pretty much, right? I don't have to tell you everything here. So, but in the second bar, we have this quick slide from second octave, shape, second fret octave shape up to fifth fret in the first beat, and then he has doing strumming on that shape, and then moving it up to seventh fret, right? So. then down to first, second fret of the shape and then strum a few times okay so the second bar maybe a bit more tricky than the first one but yeah, but also here I'm you know I'm not very strict about the strumming pattern I'm kind of just having fun with this so <laughs> um, but if you want to be really strict, you know, you will have to follow the tabs pretty much most of it. Um, right, in the third bar, uh, in, or the first bar in the second line, um, you're gonna have this. Uh, so. So uh, you go from this first fret of the shape that should strike four times to the third fret on E now of the shape. Strike once and strike one more time, but slide up to sixth fret. And then you strike it two more times. And then you have two strokes on the seventh fret, eight notes. Um, so Maybe a slowly. Okay, maybe one more time. And then the second bar is basically hit the octave shape on the third fret first, and then you have this run. Right, open A, four on A, fifth on D, 
then back 4A, open E, okay, so at the end you have this funny thing, so again um, right, and you play it 10 times, guys, uh, so <clears throat> And that'll be it. Uh, and the tenth time, the final bar is ended abruptly, and as I have shown, as I am showing in the third bar. So, instead, so that at the very end of the song, you play this. Okay, so you don't play. Just play at the end. All right. So that's closure by Opeth. So quite a lot of stuff to learn and. And again, it's much easier to play on electric guitar than on uh, acoustic, so yeah, if you want it to be easier, then switch to uh, electric guitar. <laughs> and yeah, have fun! <laughs>